has loads of accounts that can come to say, well, right on the end. There's a school in there, so I'm going to take this one out there. So it actually costs me money for the They pay about like 200 bucks. I get 80 grades, 200 bucks. It's very difficult. When I first, yeah, I think it would be helpful if you can convert it out higher than that. But when we have a training process, I'm 
just watch the bulletin and connect the website to stay up to date on news and events that are on the page. Let's get to do our worship show. By your, let us pray. By your word, O oh God, everything was made. Your word is powerful and can transform the hearts of humanity. Speak to us today, O oh God. Open our hearts and our minds to your renovating word and give us guidance and strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I invite you to join me in response to reading in Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, my sister. It is good for the just to sing praises. Praise the Lord with the heart. Play upon the psaltery of the Lord. Sing for the Lord and the peace of the Sound of the victory of the Lord is given upon the throne. The Lord is your heart and all your mercy. You love righteousness and justice. Your loving you gather up the waters of the ocean and open the waters again, you are the depth of the sea. All the earth let all who dwell in the world stand in the earth. For the Lord spoke and it came to The Lord commanded. All the Lord brings good for the nations to come. The Lord's design is in the people. The Lord's will stands fast forever, and the design is in the Lord's heart from age to age. I can be the nation as well as its order. I can be the people that chose to be your own. Have Christmas at the time from the gospel of heaven. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting in his room. And he said to him, Come on, follow him. And he sat at the dinner in the house. Many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with him at the supper. When the Pharisees saw him, they said to his disciples, Why did the teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, those who are well at the need of a physician for those who are sick. No one learned what this means. I am the man of mercy, not a sacrifice. For I have come to call out the righteous of sinners. While the Satan came to him, suddenly the leader of the sinners came in and knelt before him, said, My daughter has just died, and come and let your leader hand out of her, and she will live. And she was up and followed him. But suddenly a woman who had been suffering from marriage for 12 years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak. For she said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I would be made well. Jesus turned and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And yet the queen of honor was made well. And Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the good players. And the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, the girl is not dead, that's me. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put aside, he went in and had him, and the girl got him. And the report of this spread about that history. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>
What about everyone else, though? I've had friends who could only take and never had anything to give. I've had friends who, who I learned to not keep a secret. I've had friends for whom I was the second or third teacher. I have not offered their inner circle. It was someone who was a friend and a dependent. I learned early in life that I couldn't be all things to all people all the time. Famous line of the world that you may have heard sums it up this way. People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. As people of faith, we're on a road trip with God, a journey with a destination unknown, just like Abram. We trust that God knows where we're going and how we're going to it. And like Abram, a road trip with God means leaving the familiar places of our forebears so that we can go to a new and unfamiliar land. Along the way, just like Abraham, we have, we will build altars to remember what God has done until God calls us to move again. The church has been to decide who can be in his love on the living hands. Granted, not everyone who claims Jesus as their Lord will go to live his lives and committed to his cause, but that is the moment we get to be the judge. There are many who would adamantly argue with you that women should preach and queer people can't be Christian. The fact of the matter is that we do not get to say who is in and who is not. We do not get to decide who God calls to walk alongside of us on this journey. We cannot make God stingy and exclusive like we can be. God defies the air in his mind and opens your arms out wide to the whole world with no exceptions. This is the essence of grace. It is the gift of God. We cannot earn it or impact it in any way. It is the nature of God to extend God's grace and mercy to us because of who God is. Our passage from Romans speaks of faith and God promises this way. If it is the adherents of the law who are to be heirs, faith is null and promise is void. Not that it could literally be a paraphrase of the verse to say that if we are the ones deciding who is eligible to be heirs of God's promise and who adheres to the law, God's grace is not about who deserves it, because in truth, who among us does? What does that do to our club and our community of faith if we act like Jesus and let anyone in? What happens when we proclaim that God promises grace and movement for everyone? Well, it gets complicated and messy. Each person that we embrace and welcome is going to come with their questions, their wounds, their doubts, their ignorance, and a different way of doing things. That when I first came to the press about 13 years ago, I did not have much to give. My heart was broken. I didn't feel like God existed anymore. There were plenty of times when I was more of a liability than an asset to this congregation. But the Spirit of God drew me here and greatly in part to be your welcome and acceptance here in the very God's promises are for everyone, giving a straight Jew and Gentile, Protestant and Catholic, Asian, African, American, Palestinian, Russian, Ukrainian, mobility, Catholic, and Jewish, and Persian, those with great faith and those with little faith, and on and on we can add to this because it is God's world. God's table. God's world. God chooses. And as the church is not home to love, to embrace, and to fear for the people that God has invited and called to join us in this journey. The most uncomfortable part of any journey is the unknown. We trust God, but sure, it would be nice to do something about what is in the What do we need when we get there? Sure, look, today I'm going to tell you what that destination is. Are you ready? 
Our destination is faith. One of my favorite scriptures about faith is Hebrews 11 1. And I memorized this verse when I was a teenager. Just as I can Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things unseen. Faith is not ambiguous. Faith has substance. Faith is interlinked with By faith, we hope for the things we have not yet seen. This is God's destination for us. We are strong in our faith and in spiritual maturity so that we are strong and able to keep step with God in this journey. This many surprises. How do we do this? How do we build our faith? What is the exercise we need for growing strong in our faith with God? Well, our confessions is studying right now, so confessions of the church. This gift of God that is graced by faith must be manifested and be acted in a variety of ways. These are very open our confession. That we love one another. That we experience, practice, and pursue community with one another. That we are obligated to give ourselves willingly and joyfully to be a benefit and a blessing to one another. That we are obligated to give. That we share one faith, have one calling, are of one soul, of one mind, have one God and Father, are filled with one spirit, are baptized with one baptism, eat of one bread, drink of one cup, confess one name, are obedient to the Lord, work for one cause and share one hope. Together, come to know the height and the breadth and depth of the love of Christ to the new humanity. Together, no, we bear one another's burdens, thereby fulfilling the law of Christ. But we need one another and upbuild one another, admonish and comforting one another, that we suffer with one another for the sake of righteousness. Pray together. Together serve God in this world. And together fight against all which may threaten or hinder the spirit. My challenge to you today is to have faith and believe God's promises for you, for me, for us, and for the world. Hold fast hope that God's destination for us is good. It is good. I also challenge you to like the gathering for and partaking of the sacrament. Do not be like the reading of scripture. Do not be like the practice of prayer in communion with God. It is in walking alongside of each other with the energy of community that our faith is strengthened and that we are encouraged and fed and refreshed. Romans 4 20 and 21. No distrust may him waver. Concerning the promise of God, not the fact that he was 100 years old, or how old Sarah was, not the fact that he had no wife, children with Sarah, but he grew strong in his faith as he gave the glory to God, being fully convinced God was able to do what God had promised, despite the fact that he wanted. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
offering may be handled with compassion and healing to others for the sake of Jesus and for the sake of Mary. Um, Remember these requests. Tightening group that they are on their pilgrimage, civil rights pilgrimage to Memphis. Um, I my child was good. If things were going well, I would have heard my child. So that's great. Um, Silence, well, they must be a DNA. Our girl is still well and she heals from the pain of this. There's a meal train that has been put in uh, first friends group on Facebook and on the website. So if you'd like to help Carolyn and David out in the next few weeks with a meal, it would be very grateful. For our military, especially those serving in the South Pacific, continue prayers for Dan and Debbie Wagman. Especially for Becky and Lynn, they will be in Colorado. Scattered by his ashes, so keep them in your hearts at the set time so they remember this. For all who will be treated for cancer, especially Gary, Vienna, and Lisa, for all of our friends and members of cancer, and for those suffering, suffering from all types of illness, even all problems, and those who care for them. And also, add thanks to God, be God, for safe fight COVID. Hanover County and Hanover County is the best public place so the greatest God you have. And for us also to remember to pray for the congregation of Rochdale Presbyterian Church. Please join me in prayer. God of love and compassion, your children need your guidance and healing. God, we pray for those to a specific vocation and to come back to you, but who are too afraid to be a first step. God, we pray for those who feel like they are dying emotionally or physically and cannot find peace. God, we pray for those who in their older years must make decisions as to where to go for the rest of their lives. God, we pray for nations and leaders with the hope that they will not follow their own plans, but the purposes of your We pray all these things through Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit as one forever and ever. Now let us offer the God of silent prayers for our hearts. Now let us join together in the prayer our risen brother Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power of God.
Thank you. 